is our good. God is good all the time and all the time He is good. To God be the glory for after church. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. God is good, y'all, all the time and all the time He's good. Amen. So we thank God for His grace and we thank God for His mercy there. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Blessing to all of you all again. Amen. <laughs> Yes, thank you for coming back and joining us for our segment of After Church. This is where we take the time to give a quick, uh, I don't know, you can call it a recap or, you know, where we come and ask our questions, um, present our thoughts, you know, about how the this the particular scripture applied to our lives, mm -hmm. how to apply it, how do we use this word, how do we um, take it from from today to tomorrow and next week and weeks after that. Mm -hmm. But um, again, we're not here to pick the message apart or to criticize the, the preacher or the minister or whoever brings the word. We're here to ask questions and to be able to grow because we can certainly ask God questions because um, he knows our heart, but we're coming with questions so that we can learn how we can grow, how we can go further in our relationship with Jesus Christ. So, so again. Amen. And that, well. Questions. Question, question. Not only question, but it, I tell you that, when, when you think about, this, when I just think about the mustard seed, mm -hmm. and I pray that some of you all who haven't seen the message that you can go back and watch it on our, uh, on our page and, not only that, but we also download it on YouTube. And mm -hmm. I tell you, it has been a blessing to me. Um, every time God speaks, and not only speak, but d just give us something, we want to share it with you all. And I'm telling you, it's just, ah, oh, glory, hallelujah. I'm, I'm just, that seed. Mm. Mm. My God. Right. I appreciate what Sister Yolanda just said mm. there. You know, the, what the Lord spoke to her spirit, dropped into her very spirit. Yes. That our tithes, yeah, they are mustard seeds. Mm. Yes. I, I love that. Yes. Mustard How seed. Great. You must. God has given you mustard seed. Must. He have given you that seed to sow. Oh, my God. And watch it grow. It mm -hmm. produced that harvest. Many people looking for. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And we'll move on. The farmer. When the farmer goes out, and the farmer goes out looking for the harvest, and the farmer hasn't dropped the seed or planted the seed in the ground, then the farmer says, where's my harvest? The seed is saying, I'm, I'm sorry, the ground is saying, where's my seed? Mm -hmm. And that's the same thing. We're saying, God, okay, God going to bless you. Yeah, he blesses us each and every day. Let's get this straight because it's not about money when it comes to God. Amen? It's not about money. It's about your faithfulness. It's about your dedication. It's about your time. It's about, it's about salvation. Amen? Thank God for the Holy Spirit and thank God for his word. And it's about your heart. Amen. See, God is looking at our heart. So, um, And I love that, that he's not concerned about money about the amount that you give, because if that was the case, only the wealthy would mm. make it into into the graces of God, because yes. they would be able to give the most amount of money. But um, and we but, see what you know, the Bible said about a rich man is hard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, but Woo. what I loved about the scripture is, you know, and again, you know, whenever I begin to read, I I get very inquisitive. I love to ask questions because. I, I want to know. I want to know how do I use this word? How do I apply it to my life? And, you know, even though some of these things, we've heard it. We've mm -hmm. heard this scripture over and over again. Um, but thank God that God allows us to, to, to hear this word yes. over and over again so that we can learn. Because, you know, there may need, we may need to make some adjustments in our lives, mm -hmm. um, in our walk, in our journey. So that we can go further, so we don't have to be stagnant, so that we don't have to be stuck, mm. um, so that stuck. we just don't remain where we are. Because yes. uh, we we don't want to just stay the same age forever. We need <laughs> to grow. Can you imagine one? I mean, how can you stay yeah. thirteen for the rest of your nah, life? I, I just thought you don't want the mindset of a mm. thirteen-year-old for the rest of your life. No, I just thought about when you said stagnant, stuck, and the Holy Spirit said, "Yeah." When you become stagnant, you become stuck, and then all of a sudden you're stale. Yeah. 
<laughs> but God and give who us. Wants, who wants stale bread? Ah, uh, nobody. Mm, my God. And God give us fresh revelation. Right. And I'm telling you, we thank God. Um, that was, it was part three. Go ahead. That's interesting, yeah. He gives us fresh revelation. Mm -hmm. He gives us fresh bread mm -hmm. because we, 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 look, it's the same bread. We may get nature's, what is it, nature's own bread? It's I the don't same know. bread. <laughs> Whatever. But it's the Marietta. same bread. <laughs> it's the same bread, but we want it fresh. Exactly. You don't want it stale. You go to the store, you buy the same type of bread, mm -hmm. but you don't want stale bread. So you wow. want, and we get revelation when we go to God. Yes. With our thoughts, with our questions, with our heart. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, wanting to know how to, how do we go about doing such things? Mm. We get fresh revelation when we continue to go to that scripture, go to that word and study and meditate and, and you know, just not reading, just not looking at the surface of it. And the only way we can not, the only way that we can go beyond mm -hmm. the surface is we have to um, not just sit there looking at it, yeah. but you have to take a step of faith Amen. And decide to go further. Amen. And how do we go further? You know, you know, physically we can't dive into the word. Amen. But we dive into the word when we begin to mm. ask questions. Amen. 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 And um, and I was when you were re when we were reading the scriptures in um, what is it Matthew chapter thirteen? What is it thirty one? Yeah, thirty one to thirty two. Mm -hmm. Um. Again, I begin to ask questions. <laughs> um, I'm going to read it in the Amplified Version. Mm -hmm. It says that he gave them another parable to consider, mm -hmm. saying, The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed, which a man took and sowed into his field. And of all the seeds planted in the region, it is the smallest. In the region. In which, the region. which version is that? The Amplified I need you to read the passion. Too. Okay, I'll read it. Oh my god! And gosh. it is the smallest, but when it has grown, it is the largest of the garden herbs, mm -hmm. and becomes a tree, so that the birds of the air find shelter in its branches. Now, what I love about this—this this reminded me mm -hmm. of Psalm ninety-one. Yes. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High mm -hmm. shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Now, mm -hmm. when the kingdom of heaven, this is just like the kingdom of heaven. Mm. God is not only thinking about himself. He mm. never thinks about himself. He's thinking of us. Yes. He's yes. thinking of us. So the one that sows seed, we, the person who's sowing seed, you're not just thinking of yourself. You're thinking of others. You're thinking for your future, your family, for generations yes, to come. So when you're sowing that seed, even though it's the smallest, but the greatest the greatest package is in the smallest seed. Mm, the greatest God. packages are in the smallest seeds. Yes. And but when it has grown, it is the largest of the garden herbs and becomes a tree. So and look, we we want a full tree. We want a harvest, not for ourselves, but it's for other look. Mm -hmm. It becomes a tree. So that the birds of the air and the birds of the air are not just the birds of, um, it's not just your, mm -hmm. your generation, mm -hmm. but for generations to come, it's from your family, your cousins, um, your friends of your family, friends of your cousins. These birds are from everywhere, from yes. the air. Yes. Birds, it says birds yes. of the air. So that would be all types of any type of bird, not just one mm -hmm. particular bird. Amen. Not just the birds that we know of. But several types of birds and um, of the air, and they come to find shelter wow. in its branches. Wow. So your tree mm. is not just for you. Your My harvest Lord. is mm. not just for you. Thank you, so Lord. So is this not mm. like how the kingdom of God works, My the kingdom Lord. of heaven works? My He's Lord. not just thinking about himself. He sowed his seed of his son for us, not for him, mm -hmm. <coughs> not just for him. But for all that would believe in him. Wow. So I really, I really appreciate this scripture so much because it's, it's for not just your children, mm -hmm. 
generations. Not just for generations to come. I'm not only you, your children, my Lord, but your next door neighbors. Amen. Your next door I'm neighbors. Running all over. <laughs> the people within your community can come Ooh, and find shelter my Lord. in your branches. Wow. Running all over. A lodging place. And the thing about it is that here it is, you know, that when you see that blessing, and the Bible tells us the blessing of the Lord, it makes us rich and add us no sorrow. And this is where we continue to trust God. Um, you know, you might say, well, you know, it's not, like I said earlier, it's not where you start. As long as you start somewhere. Amen. You got to start, and, 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 and it tells us the word of God in um, Luke 8 and 11 is the word of God is a seed, a seed, and uh, these seeds are to help meet your need. Mm -hmm. It starts with me. It starts with you. It starts with us, amen? Mm -hmm. As, because the thing about it is that here it is, you might be the only seed people see from time to time doing what's right. Don't worry about who's doing what's wrong. Continue to do what's right, amen? Mm -hmm. Now, um, I see that Sister Elise, Elisa has um, asked us to elaborate more on keeping your word, or I'm sorry, um, your keeping seed. your seed in motion and moving. Wow. Keeping your seed in motion and moving. So let's talk more about that. My God, and I, I tell you, thank you for that. And, and when you think about it, um, in times of hard times, you might say, well, I, 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 I got to take care of this. I got to do this, whether it's light bill, whether it's, you know, something comes up and I seem like I can't get the praying that need to, that I need to be praying. I can't get to the word that I need to be praying the word. Things are going to come up to distract you from keeping your seed in motion, mean that keep it moving, regardless of things that come up, regardless of things that come along the way, things are going to come up as long as we are living in this world, meaning that don't stop giving, don't stop praying, don't stop reading, don't stop fasting. I don't care. You got to keep that seed which God has given you. You are, we are seed. And this is where he expects us to continue to trust him in the word. Don't stop. Don't stop. God, it, you know, the thing about it, a lot of times people might say, well, you need you need to get in prayer for hours and hours. No, it's not about, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Thank you for that. It's not about how much the, the length of time you spend in prayer. It's about dedication. Amen. It's about being faithful. It's about continually. Don't quit in the pit. Don't give up. Keep that seed in motion. Keep it moving. Don't stop. Don't get stuck. Amen? Mm -hmm. Wow. Um, and I, there was a, there's a scripture in Ecclesiastes that I was looking for. Um, and I'll get that to you, Sister Elysium. But it's a scripture that speaks of mm -hmm. um, not just sowing your seed in one place. Yes. Sow your seed because you never know mm -hmm. where the return is going to come from. Mm -hmm. So you can sow several, you know, um, you can plant several places. You can sow seeds in several places where, you know, where the, where, um, where the word is coming from. The good, you know, mm -hmm. uh, it'll, it'll, it'll come. Yeah. <laughs> but, but while you're thinking about this, let me just say this. A farmer, and no, I wasn't a farmer. <laughs> Uh, my dad and his family, they plant different stuff. But let me just say this, and I pray this will help. Um, if a, a farmer plants, he, he might have different fields, and he might plant different crops. And the thing is, if it's not getting up, if it's not producing in that field, would he plant, say, corn? And if it's not producing in that field, he's not going to plant corn again in that field, he might shift it over. Oh my God, did you catch that? He might shift it over a little bit, just just a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Motion and moving. Mm -hmm. He might shift it over. He said, I'm going to keep moving, but I'm going to motion it, you know, like a motion just, just a little bit, just a little bit, right there. Mm -hmm. And boom, there come the harvest. And he continued to keep doing it. Amen? Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Mm. So this is where we, we have to um, 
you know, even when even when things don't look good, even when things look rough, this is where we still continue to do what God has called us to do. Um, don't give up because when sooner or later, sooner or later, it's just like back in the days we had a pump that you know a hand pump. My wife, she don't know nothing about that. I that, truly don't. <laughs> a, a hand pump that you had to pump, but the thing about it when sometimes you had to prime it, pour water in it. So it can catch, amen. Mm -hmm. So in other words, sooner or later we gon we we gon we we don't pour the water in and we don't sow it. Sooner or later it's gonna catch and oh my God, the overflow is flowing out the pump. My God, mm -hmm. mm. I Jesus, <laughs> and I th and I thank God for that, and I thank God for the Word of God. And this is where we have to keep it moving, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Because sooner or later, it's going to happen. Blessing. Oh, my God. Mm. Hallelujah. So we thank God for that. Go ahead. Um, it's Ecclesiastes chapter 11, verse 4. Amen. Amen. Um, verses 4 and 6. Well, you can read 4 through 6. But 4 and 6 really speaks of it. In the King James, it says that he that observeth the wind shall not sow. Mm -hmm. And he that regardeth the clouds shall not reap. I'm going to read 5 through 6 also. And thou knowest not what is the way of the spirit, nor how the bones do grow in the womb of her mm. that is with child. Even so, thou knowest not the works of God who maketh all. In the morning sow thy seed. And in the evening withhold not thy hand, for thou knowest not whether shall not whether shall prosper, either this or that, or whether they both shall be alike good. Now that's in the um in the King James. Mm -hmm. Let me just read it in a New Living Translation. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Farmers who wait for perfect weather never plant. Wow. If they watch every cloud, they never harvest. Just as you cannot understand the path of the wind or the mystery of a tiny baby growing in its mother's womb, so you cannot understand the activity of God who does all things. Mm. Plant your seed in the morning and keep busy all afternoon. Keep moving. <laughs> For you don't know if, if profit will come from one activity or another or maybe both. So we don't know where, which one is going to produce the harvest exactly. Amen. Keep busy. Keep sowing. Amen. <laughs> keep Thank sowing. You. Thank you for that. Amen. Amen. And I, I pray to God upon this word of God that um, this is where we continue to um, thank you for dedication and faithful, Ms. Deborah. Thank God for it. And this is where um, don't quit. Don't quit in the pit. Don't quit because the thing about it, the enemy wants you to give up. Mm -hmm. They want you to give in. Amen. Um, they want you to throw in the towel. But when it all said and done, we're going to continue to trust God. And we thank God for the Holy Spirit. And I'm telling you, oh, my God, God is good. I, I, I'm not just saying God is good, but I know God is good. Right. Amen. Right. I'm not just saying it. I know he's good. Amen. Hallelujah. Why, how do you know he's good? I'm, I'm telling I'm I'm still breathing. I'm still moving. Not only that, he allowed me to read his word, pray his word fast, and, and, and share the gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ. Kingdom work. Kingdom work. The mustard seed faith. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mustard seed. Amen. God has given us that seed, and I'm telling you, this is where it's this symbol of uh, your faith and my faith symbolic amen the mustard seed trust god amen hallelujah so we thank god and we bless god for the word of god because i'm telling you this this is what oh my god kingdom work kingdom work oh mm -hmm. my god god is not only preparing us but he's preparing you all and others also amen mm -hmm. my god mm. and um you know <sighs> You'd ask that I read um, that same scripture, Matthew chapter 13, verses 31 and 32 mm -hmm. in the Passion Translation. And it reads, then Jesus taught them another parable. 
Mm-hmm. Heaven's kingdom can be compared to the tiny mustard seed that a man takes and plants in his field. Mm. Although the smallest of all the seeds, it eventually grows into the greatest mm. of uh, garden plants. My Lord. Becoming a tree for birds to come and build their nests in its branches. Wow. Um, a tree shoot out. And you know, and we have to remember, these seeds do not grow into a tree overnight. Amen. It takes years. If you want a healthy tree, mm-hmm. um, we want mm. to um, we want to take our time and do it the right way. We don't want to rush through because look, if you're rushing something, um, it may not it may not last. Mm-hmm. Most likely, it will not last and be able to endure hardship and hard times if we're rushing things through. So let it take its time and grow properly and healthy so that it can be strong and have the strength to endure um, all sorts of trials and tribulations. So we want to, we want healthy trees, not yes. o- again, not only for ourselves, but for, for all mm. sorts of birds, not just one bird, mm. but several types of birds to come and build their nests in its branches. And I love when you said that healthy, so it can be healthy, so we can help other people. Amen. We we want it to be healthy. Amen. Because the thing about it is that how, and how do we keep it healthy by staying in the word of God and praying the word, reading the word and believing the word of God. Amen. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. So to God be the glory. Wow. We don't know about not only our time, but anything else but we thank god for all of you all and much love we love you all for joining us for after church it has truly been a blessing always the word of god bringing forth the word of god and we thank god and with the love of our savior in jesus christ we love you all with all our heart and i'm telling you we are praying for each and every one of you all your families and as this prayer go out as we praying for others, you continue to pray for your neighbors, pray for your friend, pray for your family, pray for your enemy. Amen. Hallelujah. Knowing that, watch this, continue to trust God. Yeah. Continue to trust him. Amen. Yeah. And you never know who's looking at your tree. <laughs> <laughs> never yes. know who's looking at your tree that they may come and, you know, rest on, you know, and again, I'm reminded of, you know, these branches. You know, your Mm. branches are rooted in the word of God, rooted and connected to Jesus Christ. So they can come, these birds can come and rest on the branches of your Mm -hmm. trees that are um, the vines that are connected to Jesus Christ. So um, we don't want them resting on us. Mm. We want them resting on the word of Jesus Christ. We want them to turn their lives over to Jesus Christ. Mm. And they may, where they will be able to grow, plant their seeds, and grow their own trees. Amen. 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 So once again, we thank God for you all, and we bless the Lord for after church. Enjoy the rest of your day, and continue to lift up the name of Jesus, and continue to pray for one another, and um, continue to be safe as you go out in, and and God is is good, Mm y'all. That's all I can say. God is good. Amen. We serve the same God. Amen. God is good. God is good. Amen. Yes. So once again, we thank God for y'all joining us for after church. And I pray that it has been a blessing. And like I got to say for, for some of y'all who might watch this later, I pray that it bless you also because it's the word that we need in time like these. Amen. Yes. So as always, Be stay safe. safe. Stay safe. Wear your mask, practice, practice social distancing. And um, remember to sanitize your hands, but more importantly, wash those hands as often as you can. And um, yeah, just please stay safe. And um, we look forward to seeing you uh, Wednesday for our Bible study. And remember, you can check out our videos on YouTube. Um, They're posted up there as soon as we're finished with the videos. Um, Or excuse me, as soon as the the live videos have ended, Mm -hmm. we're posting them directly to YouTube. Uh, and again, the YouTube channel is, um, you can search for it under Samuel Middleton or Kingdom Empowerment Ministries, okay? So we love you much. Take yes. care and stay blessed. Amen.